right, in this video, this is T's Workbook Hints video number 14, and we're going to look at a word problem that deals with area and volume. Now this question right here, question number 12, is directly from the geometry section of my T's Math Workbook. Today is May 28th, 2020, and I just released version 2.2 with some updated problems in the workbook. If you have already purchased it, you should be receiving an email with an updated download link. So number 12, we have a storage warehouse. It is in the shape of a rectangular prism. The floor's dimensions are 50 feet by 100 feet, and the ceiling of the warehouse is 20 feet tall. First question, what is the area of the warehouse floor? Now, no tricks here. We do have a rectangular prism, which is just really a rectangular box, but this is a huge box. We have a storage warehouse. And it does say that the floor's dimensions are 50 feet by 100 feet. So to find the area, we're going to take the length times the width, these two floor dimensions. So we have 50 feet times 100 feet. And this will give us a total of 5,000 square feet. And what I want you to think about here is this. This is the floor. One of the main things you probably want to know when you're shopping for a house, when you're buying a house, is how many square feet is that house? Well, this here, this is a huge warehouse. 5,000 square feet. And notice in question A, we didn't do anything with the 20 feet. Well, let's look at question B. If storage boxes fill up three-fourths of the warehouse, how much volume is left for additional storage? So now we're going to start stacking boxes up. We're going to fill this warehouse up. And when you fill something up, when you fill up a three-dimensional object, you are dealing with volume. Not to mention it does say how much volume is left. Let's be careful there. So for question B, to find the volume of a rectangular prism, a rectangular box, we take length times width times height. So essentially we're going to take 50 times 100, and now we're going to multiply it by this height, 20 feet. Well, we already know that 50 times 100 is 5,000, and if you take 5,000 and multiply it by the height of 20, you will get a volume that is equal to 100,000. And since we are dealing with volume, you're taking feet times feet times feet. That is going to be cubic feet. Something to bear in mind, area is always in square units. Of course, we could write that as feet squared like that. And volume is always measured in cubic units, in this case, cubic feet. Now, let's be very, very careful here. Notice what it says here. If storage boxes fill up three-fourths of the warehouse, how much volume is left for additional storage? Now, what we just did here is we found the volume of the entire warehouse. We did length times width times height. Well, what do we know? Three-fourths of the warehouse is already full of storage boxes. Well, three-fourths of, of very often does mean multiply. So if we take three-fourths of the entire warehouse, the entire volume, that's going to be 100,000. Well, three-fourths of 100,000 is 75,000. So this is how much of the volume is full of storage boxes. Now the question says, how much volume is left for additional storage? This 75,000 cubic feet here is what is already being used or filled up with the storage boxes. The difference between the whole volume and the volume used will be the volume that we have left. And the difference between 100,000 and 75,000 is 25,000 cubic feet. This is how much cubic feet, this is how much volume we have left. And an additional way of looking at this, if three-fourths of the warehouse is full, that leaves one-fourth that is not full. So what you could do is you could come and take one-fourth of 100,000, and that will take you straight to this answer as well. Both approaches are fine. And there you have it, number 12, directly from the geometry section of my T's Math Workbook. If you like what you see and you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.